I thought best to do a quick video. Uh, WWE on the 15th of April, exactly one year ago since they made a ton of talent releases are up to it again. They are releasing more talents. They're letting them go. They're basically firing them. WWE call it future endeavouring. It's basically firing. The I can't obviously show you the website because I'd get copyright strike, but so far the list includes at quarter past eight on the 15th of April, Samoa Joe, Billy Kay, Peyton Royce, Mickey James, Chelsea Green, Tucker, Kalisto, Bo Dallas, and Wesley Blake. A few of these are kind of understandable. Mickey James has been not used for a long time. Wesley Blake's not done a huge amount, but still a bit of a surprise. Bo Dallas has been off TV for who knows how long. I always, to be honest, thought he would be brought up to do something with his brother, Bray Wyatt, but it's never happened, and obviously it's not going to happen now. Uh, the surprises, to be honest, in this lot, Kalisto either, not really surprised either. They kind of lost interest in him, I, I think. Tucker as well, not really surprised. Chelsea Green, it's a shame she never got an opportunity in WWE. Maybe she'll be in AEW with her uh, boyfriend or fiancé. Um, formerly Zack Ryder, Matt Cardonis. Uh, to be honest, I kind of expected one of the Iconics, probably, possibly Billy Kay, to be released. Because, again, she's another one that they've just lost interest in. But Peyton Royce, especially after that promo a couple of weeks ago on SmackDown, I thought, great, whether it's her or whether it's WWE... You know, she's going to show this fire, she's going to show this intensity, and I thought she's maybe going to go somewhere with it. Maybe this new kind of attitude thing, they'll go forward with it, we'll see what she can do. Um, So it's a great shame that both of them have been released. Hopefully they'll go on, maybe, I don't know, AEW, NWA, somewhere. Um, I'm sure that AEW will be looking at the talents released uh and hopefully those two ladies will get some of them because um, you know, Billy Kay is still surprised that I'm a fan of her. I thought she had really good potential as well. Peyton Royce. I mean, you're always getting those kind of tag teams that one ends up going higher in the card than the other, but um, it's a shame that they've both been released. Samoa Joe. Now, that's a interesting, and I don't use that term too, too, too much, but... Also, um, they've just rearranged the Raw commentary team, and he's obviously no longer on it. Uh, he has been apparently dealing with concussion issues, which this slightly concerns me. I'm really hoping that, you know, the his, his health has nothing to do with these cuts. Uh, I'm hoping that he is getting healthy, or is healthy, and can go and wrestle somewhere or again go to AEW and serve as a producer or somewhere. He has got tremendous talent. I've seen several of the promotional stuff that uh, Samoa Joe has done, including interviews for an American pickup truck thing that I did. I was very impressed with it. I forget who he interviews now, but I saw one a couple of weeks ago and very impressed with him. Um, I've not really heard his commentary really too much because I don't I'm not willing to pay really all the money for the BT Sports channel that uh, Raw is on in the UK now that WWE is on um, but from what I have heard uh, some of the shows have gone back and looked on the network a little bit he has got a great mind in terms of wrestling in terms of you know his approach to it as a in-ring competitor uh, the psychology behind the wrestling so it's a great shame. Uh, I kind of keep refreshing the page now on WWE.com uh, because every time I... Um, they, they haven't updated that page for a couple of minutes. So I've just refreshed it there, but there's nobody else been added to the list so far. But I'll be honest, I fully expect more names to be added possibly within the next 24 to 48 hours. They've made several new signings. 
in terms of developmental contracts. Uh, they brought a few people in to NXT, so obviously this is WWE uh, making room for them. Very quick, throw this in very quickly. Some of the people, some people are saying on Twitter that it's John Laurinaitis that's making the calls and citing budget reasons for these releases. But WWE have been talking about, uh, you know, this being one of the most profitable times in the company's history. Yeah, I suppose that's WWE's business uh, sense and WWE's attitude towards talent, I suppose. 